Hi, I'm Carla Buderak and welcome to Behavior Communicates. I've been covering the components of reading comprehension and today I want to highlight questioning. If you know what questions to ask, you're going to get the answers you need. If students are taught to question all the time, in other words 24-7, they're going to get more out of the material and they'll also be preparing themselves for the quizzes and exams that follow their reading. As before, if you can start with a concrete example of what you want your students to learn, you have a better chance of getting them to remember and use the concepts you're teaching. Everyone likes a good mystery, so start with an object that will inspire some curiosity and in turn help jumpstart some of those great questions. I've got an object that my grandmother gave me that is fun and interesting, so I could start teaching questioning with this. You can imagine the questions that they might have. Things like, what's it for? Who would use this? Why does it collapse? And what does it hold? So once we've generated a nice number of questions, then I would share this item and tell them what it really was for. And actually, my, when my grandmother was in school, she would take this in her lunch pail and she would uh, open it up and drink her milk out of it. And then later on in life, when she went camping, she could put this in uh, her camper and easily use it to take a drink of water or something like that. So students love to talk and share uh, their ideas, so don't forget to have them talk in turn and share their thoughts and, and questions with each other. Teach your students to look for the best question possible with less emphasis on the answer. So you can have them use some thinking stems like these, why and how could and I wonder, what if or I'm confused. Some other ideas, have the students come up with a logo that represents questioning 24-7. So here's an example that I've come up with to show how they should question all the time, every day. Or you could have them, you could bring in an interesting, exotic, or somewhat unusual food and ask them to try it, like papaya or figs or quinoa, and have the students generate questions before, after, and during the taste test. This kind of exercise fits right in with what you already do when you teach students to ask questions before, during, and after their reading. The key point here is to highlight the importance of asking good questions and ask questions all the time. Try some of these strategies and see if you can get more readers who are thoughtful, purposeful, and curious. Thank you so much for joining me here at Behavior Communicates. Just remember, the more we know about how to help the child or the student we love, the better quality of life they will have. If you like this video and you want to be in the know, sign up for Behavior Communicates. You'll automatically get my weekly video and blog, plus some other resources that I only share with my subscribers. Please like this video, leave a comment below, and share it with all of your parents, your teachers, your friends, and your coworkers on Facebook, Twitter, and all your other social media. You take care, and I'll see you next time.